Cyrenian's Green Skills Centre launched in September 2024, providing an outdoor learning environment to welcome young people currently unsupported by the mainstream education system and traditional career pathways. Through building connections to the natural environment and encouraging connections to the wider community, we offer young people the space to grow and find their own path forwards. You know, a lot of young people might not have an existing relationship with the outdoors. They might have gone drinking in a local park. They might not have any access to green space locally. So they come out here, maybe you know, it's quite close to Livingston. It's slap bang in the middle of West Lothian, but it's a lot of green space. And the second you get them out the doors, they just naturally sort of relax a little bit. You know, you can see that visually. You can see it in their behavior. It's very, very different from the reported behavior that they had in school. And it's much easier to be social outside because if you've got any sort of anxiety issues or problems with other people, you can just naturally find your space until you've built your confidence up to maybe sort of uh, heat those relationships up a little bit. We offer a sort of range of points in. We, we try and meet young people where they're at. Uh, a lot of young people might have been inside for three years. They might not have spoken to other young people for quite some time. So what we try and do is start people um, at an achievable level. So we offer not only accredited learning courses, we offer the opportunity for people just to come and hang out in the woods make some friends with other young people, try some new things, develop themselves a little bit so they're maybe at a point where they want to take on something a bit more involved. That could be as easy as just coming and sitting around a fire with other young people. Maybe they want to make something with knives, maybe they want to sort of do a project with another person. So it's, it's really meeting people where they're at and taking them hopefully where, as far as they want to get. I like being outside and I liked being around people who also enjoyed the outdoors. It's, it's quite hard to find your group of people in the world, so it was nice to have people that you got on well with. The things that we were taught and shown and that were explained to us were very, in my opinion, very important. And I think that is definitely something I picked up that, that made me want to go into conservation. Everyone is lovely, everyone's supportive, everyone wants you to do well. It's very hard to find people that will treat young people like people and adults and that it was really nice to have a normal conversation instead of being talked down to and it was yeah it was really good to feel safe. So I am now doing my first year of a uni course in conservation and wildlife management. I left and went on to a college course on countryside management and my plan is to hopefully get through this year and um, continue doing uni for a few years. I came out to meet Andy and really vibed with the project of Cyrenians and everything that goes on here um, and kind of just felt like right at home as soon as I got involved. Um, so started coming regularly and just yeah. The, never left. <laughs> they can't get rid of me. <laughs> so I find it really beneficial to connect with where our food comes from and it just it really does just taste so much more delicious like with that knowledge and that work that you put into the process. You know I started coming because of the green skills part of it but then I keep coming back because of the community um, and that's what really you know they've become my second family. We harvest, we plant, we chat, we, you know, bond and grow our relationship. It's helped me grow my confidence a lot. I feel so much more comfortable being like authentically myself, having been surrounded by these people who are so uplifting. Um, and yeah, it just brings me so much joy. I think going forward, what I would really love to see this next five or ten years is that this kind of way of learning, the outdoor practical way of learning, is totally normalised in mainstream education because for a lot of young people, they learn perfectly well like this and there's just not the availability in modern education for that. Um, we're hoping to develop the course accreditation so that young people can get higher qualifications without having to read or write. Lots of people are mega practical, they can do lots of things but they don't think they're very good at anything because they've been told unless they get their pieces of paper. There has been a lot of change at the Green Skills Centre and I think we've been very lucky that we've had some money from a lot of funders who've actually understood what we're trying to do and they've allowed us to be quite free with how we approach the project delivery. Um, for example, we're trying to get 
sort of groups of young people who work really well together. We're trying to sort of help them achieve, and sometimes that takes longer than you might have said in a funding application, for example. Um, so we've had some great infrastructure developments. We've had a really nice roundhouse built recently and an outdoor kitchen. So we have lots of spaces where young people can go to relax if they need to take a little bit of time out, for example. Um, if they want to be a bit more comfortable in the rain, which happens sometimes, they can go and sit in the roundhouse around the fire. I think I would like places like this and the Green Skills Centre and the people who work here and the, the type of organisation it is to be, I think it should be much bigger. I think it should be everywhere. It's the most effective thing that ever helped me. And I can say that for a lot of young people, it's the same. If everyone had an opportunity to be in a space like this, I think the world would be a lot better for it. You know, you, you get outside of your bubble of the normal people that you talk to and you bond over something um, that is so essential to life. You know, growing food and being in connection with the earth is just so essential.